right, baby. Hey, you guys, how you guys doing? So today, I decided to do a wash and go. Um, I clarified my hair. I made sure my hair was very clean. I'm not gonna go into details of what I used. I will be putting everything in below in the, in the description box. To set my hair in the wash and go, I used the Curls Cream Brulee Whipped Cream and I used two different types of gels. <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I only had half a jar of the Echo Styler Olive Oil Gel, and then I went in with the Wanda Curl uh, Get Set Ready Hair Jelly. So I'm gonna be using a diffuser to dry my hair because we have somewhere to go. I know that my hair is not gonna dry all the way through, but I need to get it to at least 75% dry before we get out. Um, so, this particular dryer is the Red Conair Ceramic 2200 Pro. I have reviewed several blow dryers on my channel, and this has got to be one of my favorite um, blow dryers for my hair. And I have used a diffuser before, you guys. So what I'm gonna do, I had these hair clips in just because my hair tends to fall in front of my face. I have not done a wash and go since we've been in Texas, have I? No, I haven't. Have I? Girl, I don't know. I think there's another clip somewhere. Yeah, there she go. All right, you guys. So, this is not a tutorial. Ah, oh, heck. This is just showing y'all how I use a diffuser for my hair. So, one thing I like to do is keep my hands out of my hair because that causes frizz. Like I wanna fix that, but instead, I'm gonna shake my hair and let the curls do what the curls do. All right, I'm going to be using this diffuser on, look, I can't see. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this diffuser on high fan, but medium heat, um, if that makes sense. Okay, so here we go. So because my hair is a little thick, I'm going to have to. <laughs> this crazy hussy. My hair is thick. We already know this. But I've had to put some of my hair up to diffuse the hair that's underneath. Okay. Yeah. This is put up and half my hair is down. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse. Looking at natural 80. 45 minutes later and it's still wet in the back. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna pin my hair up and beat my face. Sorry, do my makeup. Um cause, 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 yeah, we we done. We done. Alright you guys, dry my hair off and on for an hour 
and it's still not dry. You can see some bit pieces of this white residue will dry once, it'll clear, excuse me. There's some bits and pieces in the back. <laughs> so for me personally, like a lot of curly, thick girls, um, I get the best wash and go style by the third day. In the middle, it is still wet, you guys. Like I said, I've been drying my hair for an hour. We gotta go. I gotta go get some chicken and waffles. We ain't got time for this. So that is it, everyone. Tell me how do you like to dry your wash and go if you do wear a wash and go. Um, I probably have used a diffuser less than five times the entire time I've been natural. It's just, it's what it is. So I'm gonna put a bobby pin up here to get it out of my face some. See that? And then it'll get some lint, as I said, once it starts to dry. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.